Hey there guys, good morning, Ice9 and my second most feared Mad Mobile video. Uh, it's a bit late now, uh, Brown has been out a few days, but I went ahead and completed the set uh, just to go into it. Um, so now, trick or treat, I've done, wow, 420 times. It's been a good event for making coins, and I got a lacquer and, you know, some other stuff, so that was good. Uh, but late last week, they brought out the second part of the set, where you get these three players with booths. And you could put them all in a set to get a 99, temporary 99 Antonio Brown. So, going into this, all right, if we look at Winston as a player, as he's boosted up, he's pretty good. Pretty fast, pretty strong, great throw power, uh, decent throw accuracy, not great, but okay. And uh, that he's taller than a lot of other people. I tried him out for a bit, and he was fun, but I know that... Uh, He's going to go back down to an 88 here shortly, and so I'm not that interested. I ended up putting him in a set along with Sue here. He's also going to be an 88. A pretty good player uh, with good hit power while he's up here at a 96, but it's going to go back down. So that's the whole thing about Most Feared. It's fun. Players who don't have really, really good teams can throw all these golds in, and even though they don't take the boost from the rest of the team, if you get a 92 wide receiver like Cordell Patterson right now with, you know, 98 speed or whatever he has, I mean, that's pretty cool for the time being. Uh, but these guys here, and this is probably the most keepable, I'd say, out of the three because he's got an awareness boost. Uh, and his stats are pretty good even when he's not boosted. So depending on what goes on, I might do the set again. Then again, I don't know because it costs four elite trophies. The gold player costs nothing. Uh, the orbs, it's just a matter of getting lucky. I pulled a few. I did all the packs, Halloween packs and, and the beast packs and everything to get some orbs so I could do this set. And I did unlock Brown, but I went ahead and sold him. And the reason why, and I always talk about this in my videos, or I have a lot, is I prefer taller wide receivers. And Antonio, I mean, he's a great player in the NFL. Don't want to take anything away from him. But at five foot ten, speed goes down to 93, which is great at this point of the game. But elusiveness boost is not great. And an acceleration boost is kind of redundant. I already have plus four acceleration on my team right now. And even though he boosts up overall pretty good, I decided to kind of cash out and took the coins and made some other purchases instead. So how the team's kind of looking, I've kind of stripped most of the most feared players from my team now. Uh, back with kind of my standard lineup. Still got Staley in there. And then keep an Urlacher at linebacker. So 93 overall right now. And just looking forward to road to the playoffs. And uh, then the Thanksgiving event. And then I'll start rebuilding the team from there. So that's basically what is going on. And then you'll see <clears throat> in some of my preparations uh, for road to the playoffs what I've done. I'm saving up packs. I'll do a big opening at some point, including some game changers, flashbacks, some average pro packs, saving up the premium packs week to week for something good to come out and hopefully pull it. Uh, journeyman headliners. And then what I did, because I was kind of running out of space on the bench, is I did 140 of these collectible exchange packs and just using garbage uh, scrimmage. Uh, collectibles and silver trophies which I built up a lot and so I got a ton of these so if it's anything like hero and there's if there's going to be something like um, you know some kind of hero collectible some kind of road to the playoffs collectible which may not be the case they might just have road to the playoff branded players and golds and hopefully not elites 
required for the for the set which has been in the past but if they've got a collectible then I'll be ready for that and then I'm saving up my team of the weeks too uh, still don't see any players I really want to unlock and then football outsiders too I'm going to save those up and I'll do a big fun pack opening at some time maybe around Thanksgiving or maybe around Christmas I'm going to save them up for a while and then uh, try to make it really fun and get a lot of stuff. So that's basically it. Um, most feared is over. Uh, the oversized players, while it's been fun on one hand, it's kind of silly. On the other hand, you know, these big players going around, a big old Antonio Brown running downfield, etc. Uh, Brown's a pretty good player, I would say. But he's just, like I said, not the kind of wide receiver that I want to have on the team and I'm just gonna kind of wait at this point and I just kind of cashed out so that is basically it um, stuff coming up I guess with a uh, road to the playoffs and Thanksgiving and when that comes out I'll definitely cover it and that is all that I have for today thanks for watching guys